Man, that Fallout series, it's so good. I have to say it's better than the Ratchet and Clank movie. And, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's was good, too. Actually, I thought it was, I thought it was really good. I thought it was an interesting take on the idea that these kids were being abused by this man. And in these mechanical suits, like, these video game adaptations are getting so good. And... (sighs) Mentally, symbolically, (laughs) mental health-wise, wisdom, relationships, struggles, mental health struggles, and social anxiety... These latest video game adaptations have done a superb job at noticing abuse and noticing the mental health coping that these games provide. To people like me who struggle with social anxiety. People with me who struggle um, getting out of the house or socializing. This series, Fallout, takes the ideal aspect that someday nuclear bombs are going to drop all over the world, and it's going to be radiated poison. That's what was a scary thought in the Cold War era and World War II era. Because they had all these nukes, all these missiles that they could launch out. I mean, we're now in World War Three, apparently. A lot of people are saying that, including Trump. So, the series takes a really, really dark twists and turns <laughs> that make you think about what these ghouls were, what these creatures that the nuclear bombs, when they dropped, <laughs> created or implicated on nature. On life itself. I mean, it's a scary, scary world. And it has a western vibe and a comedic vibe, but it has a really spooky, eerie vibe mixed in with the western vibe. Including the post apocalyptic. I mean, obviously, it's the fallout of nuclear bombs being dropped. From the sky. The fact. That these characters. Were so well fleshed out. Like you begin to love. Each of the characters. I loved the characters especially. Um, I think his name was Mike Titus or, yeah, Mike Titus, I think that was his name. He was such a trauma, traumatized, symbolic look of what these people are. There's even... Racism and um, maybe even sexism or, or something like that in the stories, I think. I mean, it's really cool what happens. Even the sexual stuff is 
in the show is funny, like... The fact that Mike Titus was scared of getting a hickey. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling this, but it's so funny. Like, you laugh... Because he's lived in a world where nuclear bombs dropped and it caused radiation. So, like, he th- he he's probably scared that if he gets a hickey, he'll have some kind of mutation. Like, there's even weird designs of each of these characters so drawn out, so fleshed out. I mean, the series is phenomenal. Taking the ideal aspect of the fear that nuclear bombs will drop, especially with World War III going on now. I mean, it's so scary with the Islams and the Iraqs and Israels, I mean... We're now in World War Three, apparently. I, I I've heard over online, and um, yeah, it takes that interesting aspect of like nuclear bombs dropping. Where are we gonna go? How are we gonna live? So the f- I. Deal aspect of us getting into these what called vaults are like these huge tunnels, endless tunnels underground, living in a society where we don't see things as cats and dogs, and yet, <laughs> like it's a cat. Oh man, I'm sorry. There's a dog eat dog world. And yet, the fear that these characters go through, the fear that nuclear bombs have dropped in our world and we now have to live underground forever, it's a scary, scary thought. And if you ever played Outer Worlds, there's even... I felt like I was watching an Outer world show also, if you ever played that game. Because there are char- there's a scene in which um, it, it just gave me that vibe, you know? I mean, the show does so beautifully well in telling the story, the ideal aspect, the fear of... Where are we going to go when the world is ending? What's the world going to look like when it's ending? I mean, you really start to love and appreciate each of the characters. And the choices that are in the show... Like... You think about it, and you notice that there's that fear of the show... In the choices that each of the character makes. Like, it's so cool to see that. In this aspect. If we ever do get Fallout 5, which... I was playing... I have reopened and started Fallout 76, which is like a... Uh... Think... Fortnite mixed with Apex Legends. Um, yeah. But yeah, the show is really cool. I think Fortnite, again, I think Disney buying Fort Epic Games is an amazing thing that we get to experience. I mean, we get to have endless possibilities of imaginations. Marvel, Star Wars. The fact that this show takes that fear of choices that we make 
and really puts it in dynamic of good or evil, positive and negatives. It the show is so beautifully st- told through a cold post-apocalyptic nuclear bomb dropped from Cold War storytelling. I, I, I love the show. I honestly loved each of the characters. I know some people have issues with some of the characters. But yet to remember, she was in the vault for years. Mike Titus was a kid who in the end of the world that he lived when the bombs dropped, he didn't live in the vaults. He was somewhere else, but yeah, he had a, a life and a very cold life, but he grew up wanting to pay forward what these pip boys or um steel armored marines did for him in his time of need I mean the story is so beautiful and I love the video game and I I, I love 76. I love um, the Fallout series. It's so beautiful, guys. I love this show.